bugger, bugger, bugger. We blew past it. Oh, bugger. Okay, uh, so there's no saving this approach. Try and get as close as possible. So we don't have to expend too much fuel to get into the atmosphere. Right, this is probably just going to shoot us straight past the planet. something out of it. Yeah, I'm going too fast. This has not been a not been a great start, has it? Great start. I mean, I suppose I started 20 minutes ago. Uh, this has not been a good. Mission has it. At least this mistake is recoverable. <laughs> up a little more gas and time that I would have liked to, but we still made it, which is the important thing. Oh, I think we are going a little fast. be a pretty small gas giant. I'm not even seeing any atmosphere. That's okay though. Just because we can't see the atmosphere doesn't mean it's not there. kilometers off the surface of the planet. That's interesting. We haven't even entered the uh, atmosphere yet. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. And there goes the fuel scoop. off the planet. But still only 0.11 atmospheres. Not particularly a uh, thick gas giant, is it? We could probably land on this. I don't think that would be a very good idea. We can take it a little lower, though. We need to plot our next route, too. So let's go Grooms Bridge 34. Oh, no single jump. That's nice. Only three tons? That's nice, but we only have a little bit of gas in the tank, so we're going to have to do a bit more scooping before we make our jump. Okay, we're now... Just about 11 kilometers from the surface. Let's leave it there. So when we jump to uh, Groom's Bridge, we don't actually have to land anywhere. All we have to do is jump into the system, and he will meet us in a ship. So it's actually really easy to turn this kind of mission in. You don't have to do anything. But you do have to land eventually, so it's not like it's too easy. Let's take a quick look at Groombridge. Ooh, it's a big system. Oh, that's a long name. Tronduianos Colony. Alright. I mean, we don't have to land. Let's pop over there. What's this? Tech level 4? Yeah. They won't have a shield generator. So we need enough fuel to make it to... Groom Bridge, and then we have to go from Groom Bridge to Epsilon Eridani, and when we get to Epsilon Eridani, we have to have enough fuel to get to New Hope. New Hope. So, let's add that to our list. So I'm not keen on leaving the game going while we fuel scoop. Here we are. Here's uh, Groombridge. Here's Epsilon Aradani. So we can add 
that jump. And that's our route then. I don't know if that's the best route. That'll take three days and 12 hours. Let's add... I don't think there's any other way to do it. Three days and 12 hours. Tau City and then Epsilon Aridani. Three days, 21 hours. Doesn't really change a whole lot. Three days, 12 hours. Does adding Ross there help? Three days, 13 hours. No. Nope. Okay. There we go. So we need, at this rate, we need nine tons of fuel plus whatever we need in the, ga in the tank. So let's pump some up. And as we refuel, we will need more fuel to make the jumps, but that's okay. I was right. This mission did take about all of August. Well, you know, I think I'd rather spend August in space than here on Earth, to be honest. August is hot. August in space? Well, aside from a few uh, <laughs> piloting errors, more or less, okay. <laughs> So I think we're going to go ahead and grab half of our fuel tank here. Otherwise, we're just going to we're going to be sitting here for for days. That's probably enough. And now we need nine to make it to Epsilon Aridon. Okay, let's go. And when we get to Epsilon Aridani, we'll just pump up whatever extra fuel we have in our tanks. Hey, that's great. A bonus. I always like bonuses, so it's not a great bonus, but it's better than nothing. So that's what? 8,000 credits? That's pretty good. Yeah, it definitely will pay. It definitely uh, covers our um, repair fees from the last mission. And might even cover the cost of another shield generator. Okay, so we, only two tons, that's all right. <laughs> so New Hope, we go to New Hope on New Hope. Gandhi's Revenge. <laughs> why, why can I not select New Hope? Hmm, and this is worrying. Ross 428. Oh, because I was playing with the, uh... The route planner. Okay. There we go. Now we actually have New Hope selected. New Hope, the city, not the planet.
Still do have to watch our gas a little bit. It's not like we have a full tank. But we do have more than enough for us to get there. I don't think we're going to be able to just sit on the gas and, uh... Well, we might be able to actually sit on the gas for the entire time. Okay. <laughs> I did not think we were going to be able to do that. We've essentially just accelerated the entire time. means now it's time to decelerate but let's check our approach I should turn off all these starships look at all of them everybody's going to New Hope right? we, as we we can watch them and because the game doesn't simulate them landing we can see them all splashed out behind New Hope. They're actually going to land, but... Whoops. Back it up. They're going to land, but the game doesn't know they're going to land, so it predicts their flight paths. Here's our flight path. Uh, New Hope is going to be on the back side of the planet when we get there. That's not ideal. But we'll make do. And the ideal approach would always be right on the sun the sun side, daytime side. But we can only do what the universe gives us. We're probably going to have to dodge the moon, too. Which will be amusing. There's Hades, that's the moon. Why are we not stopping? Oh, the keyboard got stuck again. We're stuck in low power mode. Dang it. Oh, bugger. is frustrating. <sighs> wow, this is frustrating. Okay. So... Hold on a second. getting sticky. Well, salvageable approach.
Now I'm not happy. I'm not happy with today's flying. Salvageable, but not good. All right. Let's break again. Done that, this actually would have been a nice approach. I suppose it's a nice recovery. Right? And everybody makes mistakes, so. Make a mistake, that's fine. How are you going to recover from it? And it looks like we're doing okay. Atmosphere of Epsilon Aerodyne, New Hope. New Hope's a big city. Well, I would not, it shouldn't be surprising. Epsilon, it, uh, New Hope is probably the capital of Epsilon Aerodyne. See me make a little correction there. I was close to overshooting the city. But I saved it. Kind of. Wonderful, wonderful. problem with coming to New Hope, Epsilon Aerodyne, in general, is the high landing fees. Like six dollars to just land. What a rip off. Oops. Oops. Gear down and let's... Hold on. Dang it, dang it, what's going on? <sighs> More keyboard problems. This only happens with Pioneer. Turn the HUD off. 
and enjoy the landing process. We're down. The landing fee of six dollars has been adopted. Thank you. Alright, let's guess up. And go to the equipment market. Let's take a peek at what ships are here. Cinematrix, Verada, Blue Nose. Not a very blue nose, though. Amola Ramsey? Ramsey? That's the big brother to, uh, the Mola Mola. It's a lot of cargo. 950 tons. Pumpkin seed. Always like pumpkin seeds. Wave. This is a cool wave. Deneb. Deneb's pretty ugly. And the Malabar. I like the way the Malabars look, but they're huge ships. Minimum crew of one. Can you imagine only one person to operate a giant cruise ship like this? Anyways. Shield generator. Shield generator. So. Alright, we got 170 tons. 170? 107 tons free. So we have more than enough room for some shield generators. But I'm just going to pick up one for the time being. Because I don't know how well this will do. We'll have to check. Here's the shield energy booster. This helps the shield recharge faster. But because it's eight tons, right, we could fit two shield generators instead of this. So I think shield energy booster is a little unnecessary. And eventually we're going to want to get an ECM. But, wow, today's been a lovely long one. Mainly because of my mistakes. So, uh, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. We'll see you all later. Goodbye.